Maybe you've been wondering why I don't take your phone calls no more. Because every time you call me, you're on speakerphone. Which makes me think, you have something else going on because you don't have any time to concentrate just on me. Like you're in your car and you're bored or you're in traffic, so you're like, wonder who could I call that uh, I don't want to talk to when I have time and devote, you know, complete focusing on him. Carmen, let's call Carmen now because it's great to talk to him while I got all this other stuff going on and I need some way to kill time and, you know, let's use him. That's what you're doing. You're using me, right? So now don't be surprised if I don't pick up your phone call next time because that's how I feel. Like I, I, I can't listen to, I'm not going to pick up phone. I'm not going to talk to somebody that puts me on speakerphone more than once. And I'm not telling you, by the way, to take me off speakerphone because you should know that already. You know, I shouldn't hear the echo or hear you like taking a shit or something. I go, hey man, are you, am I on speakerphone? Is there any way that you could like not put me on it? Could you take me off of it? If, if you, you already know that, right? You already know that. So now your phone call comes in. I'm like, no, you know what? I'm busy, right? I don't do that to, look, I used to do it. So that's why I know about it. I used to make phone calls in my car. I don't do that no more. I traveled a lot though. I mean, that's all I ever fucking did was go on the road. And you know, as a comic, so is that my excuse? Yeah, because I wasn't at a house or at a business or at an office. But maybe this is what's going on with everybody, right? We're so bored at, at work or at home. That's when we call people. I want you to call me if you got something number one to say to me. You know, something important. I always think I see the caller ID and I go, huh, she called me at eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. This must be important. Then I answer the call and it's, it's just, no, it's nothing. It is about something that was on fucking news last night and you're gonna repeat it to me and I don't wanna hear about it because I've already heard about it from 30 other people who called me at 11 o'clock, which I thought was important, and five o'clock, which I thought, none of these phone calls are important. So I'm hoping that I get like an important phone call, like a gig, or maybe somebody wants to collaborate on a video or, or likes my stuff and wants to put me in a fucking Netflix special. But those phone calls aren't coming in. So, now I don't take any phone call. In fact, I'm glad that the phone says potential spam and that's what I should do. I should list your name as potential spam on my phone. I think that's what would make at least me figure out that uh, it's not a real important call. And the only way I'm gonna answer this call is if I'm as bored as you are. Then I'll pick it up and go, hey, what's up? Nothing, just wanna see what you're doing. Oh, great. So now, not only did you call me, but now you're initiating me as the main conversation giver. Like I have to create a rap for you to listen to. I, I'm not, look, I wasn't even interested in, in talking. You were, I thought. Or you just wanna hear me talk. So you don't have to do shit and you just reply and wait for me to say something about my kids or my car that you're really not listening to. See, if I talk about my kids or my car, that's your cue for you to go, well, you know, my car or, you know, my kids. That's another thing, man. Oh, if you call me and you ask me a question just so you can talk about you, because I get that shit a lot, too. I mean, we're figuring this out. We are, folks. We all know that you're calling us on speakerphone because you got nothing to do or because you're in a situation where you got to kill something that's worse than talking to me or because you want to talk about something and no one's asking you about it. So you ask someone else about something so you can go, well, shit, man. Well, my house and my roof or my vehicle or my come up with your own shit. It's like people who comment on these videos, right? I put the video out. I don't explain nothing to nobody. And then someone drops a comment on there and it's really not a comment. It's more like a statement because they want me to reply to something they said. No, 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 this is my time, bro. I'm making a video because I decided that I needed to say something. If you need to say something, make a fucking video and put it out there. You got the balls like I do. You got the balls to put a video out there that people might not like because that's what happens, isn't it? You think that I make a video and I don't put it out there without thinking, probably not, probably not gonna please everybody on this video, right? Because I'm not concise on this one or I'm not doing the fucking character or I'm not talking about politics. Of course, you're gonna piss people off, but take a chance. See, if I'm standing on a stage and you heckle me, 
It's not about you, man. Just sit there and listen to my bullshit. I'm the guy who got on stage, who's been working on this routine. You're the crowd, okay? Get it? You're in that spot. This isn't about you. If you came just so you could heckle me, you need to be on stage. You need to make your own videos. And if you call me and get me to start talking when you should be talking because you initiated the phone call, we're all we're, we're in the wrong boat. That's why I'm not answering your call. Don't put me on speakerphone, man. Don't come to my show and heckle me. I mean, you can. Believe me, you can. Sometimes I pray for a guy like you. Oh, I pray when there's a, a lull in my act and someone wants to fuck with me. Be believe me, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's not like I'm not ready. Of course I am. I've been in that situation for 30 years and maybe you're not ready for what I'm going to say back to you. Just like speakerphone. I get it. I get it, right? I know you're calling me and you're on speakerphone and now I have ways to make sure that you never call me on speakerphone because whoever else is listening to me doesn't want to hear me. If your wife's in the other room and you decide to put me on speakerphone, we'll talk about the crazy horse and the strippers. If you want to put me on speakerphone at the office, we'll talk about how you fucking lied on your resume. Something where you'll go, oh shit, I'll never call him on speakerphone again. I got to make sure that every conversation with Carmen is private. <laughs> you are listening to the Carmen Ciricillo Show. Carmen Oat!